first task is to plan the crosstab object by determining which fields will be displayed. Most crosstab objects use the rows to display the data being summarized. In our example, this will be the customer name. The columns are typically used to display the time period being analyzed. In our example, this will be the year. Lastly, our summary field is going to be the sales field. This will give us a crosstab object that displays all the customers in the rows and the annual sales data will be displayed across the page. Create a new report using the crosstab report wizard. For the data source, choose the extreme.ndb database and select the tables customers and orders. Then click the next button. Check that the two tables are linked by the customer ID field. Once this is good, click the next button to confirm the table links. Find the field customer.customername in the available fields list on the left and select it. Then click the arrow to move it to the rows list. Find the field orders.orderDate in the available fields list and select it. Then click the arrow key to move it to the list. We don't want the crosstab to display the individual date for every order. That would be too much information and wouldn't give us the benefit of being able to summarize the sales data. So let's change the grouping function to group by year. For the summary field, click the orders.order amount field in the available fields list and use the arrow to move it to the summary fields list. You can see that the default summary function is sum, so we'll leave it like that. Click the Finish button and save your changes. Preview the report, and we notice that the fields aren't actually large enough to fit all the data in, so we're going to make those a little larger so that we can see all the data in every field. And then we have our report. Along the left-hand side are all the products going down the rows. Along the top are the totals by the year. And the sales data is summarized within the crosstab object. I really hope you've enjoyed this training video. But what if you can get access to an entire course reports all on video course from beginner to advanced that taught you step-by-step -step about custom formulas, crosstab reporting, sub-reports, sorting and grouping, and much more, including 1,500 plus pages of tutorials. Just imagine how finally making sense of cursor reports would change your workload. Would it save you hours of surfing the net for the right answers? Would it save you stress and anxiety over frustrating formulas that just don't work? It's really easy to get up to speed on how to use and maximize the latest cursor reports with online training. You can log on from the comfort of your own home or office. You can watch step-by-step -step guided videos and follow along on your own computer. The best part is you can pause, rewind, and rewatch videos so you can really learn at your own pace. I want to personally invite you to try my online training and help you make sense of Crystal Reports. Look, put your mind at ease. If you're not 100% better at Crystal Reports or happy with the training, then send me an email and I will instantly refund your purchase. I strongly believe that great training leads to great results and I can't wait for you to get started. Click on the button below to accept my personal invitation and try my complete Crystal Reports online training course risk-free. Until next time, I wish you the very best and I'll talk to you soon.